In this video, we're going to be looking at the menu control and how we can bind it to the sitemap file that we created. In the previous video, we demonstrated how we can use the menu control without a sitemap or a database or an XML file. So uh, in this video, we're going to be binding our menu control to a sitemap file this is the idea this is ideal in a situation where you want to use the same the same sitemap that uh, was used with a tree view control or a sitemap file so if you already created a sitemap which we did and we bind and um, we bound to the sitemap path so in we can also use the same uh, sitemap to bind it to our uh, menu control menu control does not automatically bind itself to a sitemap file remember when we added the uh, sitemap path uh, control as soon as we drop it on the page we didn't have to do anything it just recognized the, uh, the hierarchy of our website and it displayed the breadcrumb on the page but uh, that's not the same thing with the menu control you have to create a sitemap data source where the menu must get its hierarchical data from in order to populate the menu items you can add the home page on the menu by setting the show starting node of the sitemap data source to false so let's go ahead and demonstrate everything we talk about so uh, under the navigation uh, controls let's select uh, we need the menu control again so let's put it on the side again and instead of now using the edit menu items we want to choose a data source so at the moment it's set to none so what we do is we do not have any data source so we can say new data source so we can create a new data source so we get this wizard that uh, allows us to choose an XML file or a sitemap so we just say sitemap you can give it a name doesn't matter click on OK and once you click on OK it is <laughs> it will automatically as well um, recognize that we have a sitemap in our uh, web application and it's going to use it automatically so it looks like it's disappeared now but it hasn't the reason why is because it put it right here uh, at the bottom so remember so let me just uh, okay let's see that's a minute okay so uh this is our sitemap data source and uh, have dragged it to the bottom of the page so that uh, it doesn't mess up the layout of our page but as you can see if I actually go ahead and view the page in a browser now we're not going to get the the result that we want the result that we want is to display all the many items but as you can see now we only get the home page so we get the home page which is the top level remember when we created it it was the top level the, remember I was saying to you uh, there's a reason why you want to uh, make sure that the first uh, sitemap node is the home page so you don't have to because you can also make the home page to be inside the top level so if you do that then uh, it's still going to work so once we uh, hover on the home page then we get to see the staff and the staff sub page we get to see the student and the student sub page and we get to see the about us and the sub page but this is not the you know the result that we actually want we want the pages to display the home page uh, the student page and the so that means right now it's actually showing the first level so if you want to it's showing the level one so if you want to see the level two so we have to tell it how many levels deep that we want it to show so if we select the so let's select the menu control and go to the properties so if you scroll down you're going to see a property which says static display level out because in all this control you will see uh, static and dynamic so let me show you You see a lot of things referring to static menu high temp style static menu style and you also see a dynamic menu item style dynamic menu style okay the difference between static and dynamic is static is exactly what you see on the page so when you look at home page now as you can see it's not going anywhere it's, it's still there but the dynamic are the pages that show so if I go back to our website now you will see that all the one that pop ups uh, when you place your mouse over a link those are the dynamic ones so 
so if I should place my mouse over this one now you see the staff the students and the about the dynamic right now because and uh, these are also dynamic as well so what we can see on the page without a mouse over the link is the static item so just want to point your attention to that it took me a while to figure that out so uh, anyway uh, so what we want to do is we want to set the static let me show you the static display level instead of one so if you look at the description it said the number of levels displayed in the static part of the menu so let, if we let's set this to two and we're going to get the result that we want so as you can see now we got the result that we want what if we set it to three so the, that means it's going to display three levels deep okay yes yeah, so all right let's try that so we select three as you see now it's displayed all our menu items on the page but this is usually not the result that you want but if you want the result there you have it so I usually like to display two levels so let's display two levels so that we can have uh, the pop-up uh, the um, so now this is the result I want it depends on what you want is a matter of preference so let's view what this looks like now on our page so we have the on page and you see the uh, the tool tip that should tell us the uh, description and we have the staff page with uh, the dynamic uh, pages you know flying out so we can click on them and it's going to take us to the appropriate page the second one we have for the student I mean in my opinion I think if you do not have any pages that um, I mean in my opinion this is the best way to um, do your menu remember that you can also style these uh, menu items with CSS this is just a raw um, the raw uh, look and feel you can change it as much as you want so we can click on the student to actually okay server error in master page resource cannot be found error 404 students.aspx okay right how about the staff page which we get the same the staff page works the about us page works but we get error with the student page so let's look at our site that's why sometimes you need to test so let's look at our, our site map file and see what is the problem because uh, we got an error when we're trying to get to the student students.aspx right I can see the error because here I was referring to students but the page I created here is actually student which is singular here and I was referring to the plural so I'm going to make this the singular so let's save that and uh, let's go back to our page and try that to make sure it works so this is how you uh, have to deal with errors in your pages so if we click on the student page now it should take us to the student main page so uh, so this is how you use the uh, menu control with the site map file so go ahead and try it in your application or just use the just use whichever method that you prefer maybe you want to add the menu items or maybe you just want to use this site map because if we look let's go ahead and look at the by using the site map path our clothes code should be cleaner because if we look at the um, the sidebar now look at all we had remember in the previous video we had a lot of menu items and so that means your page is going to be bloated up but this one all we do is just a menu item and we, and we set the data source ID to the site map data source 1 and that's all we had to do and we did static display level to be 2 so these are all you need but in the previous video we had all these many items bloating up the page so in my opinion this is the best way to add um, a site and had a navigation control the menu control to your page uh, remember you can start it with CSS or you can just go ahead and use this um, styles here which is the uh, static menu style and you can change the back color to you know whatever color you want it's, it's something more deeper like that and uh, as you see now we've changed the color you can change the color of each of the menu item so go ahead and play around and you should you know have fun I'll see you in the next video thank you